guys, it's Shannon, and I'm really excited for today's video because I get to share my American Girl doll with you, and that's Julie. Now, quite a few of you have asked if we were going to be reviewing or doing anything with American Girl dolls, and Paul kind of hinted around that we might, and had said that I had an American Girl doll, and um, a lot of you have asked to see her, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be taking a look at my doll and then this little outfit. So let me show you this first. Um, all I have from American Girl is the Julie doll. I don't have any clothes or anything like that yet. And we were at Target and we're looking at the Our Generation products and saw that they fit 18 inch dolls, which is what American Girl is. So we thought, you know what, let's go ahead and get one of these outfits and try it on my American Girl and see how it fits. Um, we actually purchased a few outfits because they were super cute. We couldn't narrow it down. But in today's video, we're going to try this one on. But first, let's take a look at my American Girl doll. So I have the Julie doll, as you can see right here. Now, she was the Girl of the Year doll. And um, I bought her several years ago while she was the Girl of the Year. And I must confess, I have not read Julie's story, but I know that she's the 70s girl. And she, what really drew me to her is her long, pretty blonde hair. She has the best hair. It's a little messy. Simon got a hold of her. He was, he was snuggling with Julie. But um, she just has this long, silky blonde hair. And it's very straight. And she has this braid right here which is really cute too. Alright so Julie has pretty brown or hazel eyes and two little teeth and then her outfit is very cute. Um, underneath this white shirt she's actually wearing a rainbow variegated like striped shirt and it's just a long sleeve turtleneck shirt and then she, over it she has this white like smock top and it has really pretty blue and brown embroidering around the neckline. And then this really cute braided brown suede belt with beads on the end. Which are very cute and they match the colors of her shirt. And then she has a pair of two-tone jeans on. And you can see those right here. And she has the cutest little brown sandals. And those are peep toe, perfect for summer, which we happen to be in right now. So this is my very first experience with American Girl. Um, I'll be honest, I have not taken her clothes off her ever, so I'm going to see when I open up this other set of clothes. We're going to just see the quality of the clothes, and I will report on that. But as far as her just sitting here right now, she, the clothes feel very nice and she looks really good. I love her hair. It's very soft and silky. Right, let's take a look at this outfit. So like I said, again, this is from Our Generation and this was only $12.99, which is quite a bit cheaper than American Girl. However, I do plan on buying some American Girl stuff. Um, the price is not discouraging to me because it is good quality but this is a more economical version and I'm really excited to get this out of the package and see the quality of the clothes and what it looks like on Julie. But this is the Our Generation Country Classic set and I really liked the little boots. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the package and then we'll take a better look so at it. So I like that the dolls, um, that the clothes come with a hanger for your outfit. That is a really cute detail. And let's just go ahead and take a look at this country classic. So you get this cute little pair of boots, which is what drew me to the outfit. I just think they're adorable. And this is like a little um, fall outfit that Julie can get dressed in and get ready for fall or autumn. So she has this little white like satiny shirt and it has lace trim at the neckline. And I like that there's a little Our Generation tag on the items. 
And then she has this cute little pink heather shrug, like a little sweater. She also has a cute pair of like tweed shorts with a pretty bow right here. And she has a pair of brown tights to wear under her shorts. So I'm gonna go ahead and get Julie in this new outfit and then we'll see what she looks like. Okay, so I have Julie all dressed in her country classic outfit and I still stand by, I think this is a really cute like transition outfit from summer to autumn or fall um, because it's lightweight but it's still long sleeved and her legs are covered up so she would be warm enough. But here she is, let me just give you a quick look at her. I have to say that I think she looks way cuter in this outfit than in the outfit she originally came with. <laughs> now, um, I know the outfit she originally comes with is a period outfit, meaning it matches the clothes of that time period. And obviously this outfit, you know, is a very, um, outfit of today. But, um, let me give you my, my first thoughts on the American Girl. Like here's her turtleneck shirt that she was wearing. Um, the American Girl clothes are very, very nice. They're thick material, they're good quality, they come on and off very easily, or go on and off very easily, which I think is very, very nice. Um, I'm pleased with that, so I'm sure we will be ordering some American Girl stuff and maybe another American Girl doll to go with Julie. Now, having said that, let's move on to the Our Generation. I'm probably gonna, well, no, I did, we ordered an Amer, or I'm sorry, we ordered an Our Generation doll. We're waiting for her to come in because I wanna be able to compare the Our Generation dolls versus the American Girl. So look for that video coming up soon. But this outfit is so cute. So I'm gonna move her up here and, um, I want to say that I'm really, really impressed with the quality of the Our Generation clothes as well. Um, I was kind of worried about the tights on this outfit because it can be kind of hard putting tights on dolls. And these went on super nice, really easy, and they're really nice quality too because they're not baggy on her. You'll see they fit really well, which is important to me. That's always something that I look for and appreciate in a doll when the tights fit tightly. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> the way they should. Um, the other thing is these little boots, they went on so, so easy, which was very nice to see because again, shoes are something that can be really difficult to put on a doll. So I was impressed with how easy they went on. Now on to the rest of the outfit. She's wearing her pretty little pink cardigan over her white satiny and lace top and then her shorts. I think the shorts are super cute and um, I'll admit I wasn't that big of a fan of this white shirt when I got it out of the package because it's supposed to be like a, a satiny feel um, kind of short uh, shirt and have that kind of look to it. and. In your hands, I think that shirt feels a little cheap. However, it looks really cute once it's on the doll. And I just have it kind of tucked behind the bow on her shorts so that bow stands out. So that is Julie all dressed. She's ready for maybe a hayride or to go pick out a pumpkin or just spend a day taking a nice walk through the woods. What do you guys think? Do you like the American Girl dolls or our generation dolls? Should we do more reviews and open more things? I will tell you, uh, we're kind of looking at Grace at the American Girl um, website and Paul is in love with her pastry cart and bakery and all that stuff. Um, and then the our generation, they have a ton of clothes and accessories that we're kind of looking at too. So let us know what you think about these. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love American Girl or our generation. And let us know in the comments if you want to see more doll reviews. Um, 
I really love them. I think they're really pretty. I would love to bring you more reviews. So I hope to hear good comments. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. That way you don't miss any of our videos. And we will see you next time. Bye everyone.